The Advocacy Award is given to a youth who has committed time and energy lending their voice to a cause and bringing about change. Rogers is humbled to be presenting the Advocacy Award. The nominees this year exemplify the strength and courage our youth possess. You are a shining example for your peers, true leaders with the resolve, dedication, and heart to achieve what you know is right, no matter how difficult. The nominees for the Advocacy Award are Supporting cancer research has motivated 17-year-old Judy Ju for many years. It started in elementary school, when she grew her hair for wig donations. In junior high, she canvassed for the Lung Association. At Sir Winston Churchill High School, Judy is co-president of Young Cups, a school organization that involves students in the CIBC Run for a Cure event. She also organized a Shave Your Head campaign, where she raised over $6,000 for cancer research from door-to-door -door campaigning. I was so surprised by the amount of support and how, by how friendly my neighbors were to me. When I said, oh, I'm going to shave my head, they're like, oh, you're going to shave your head. And they were, they were just so, I know, excited for me. And it just, it made me realize that, wow, Calgary is, is su such a great city and my community isn't as, as separated as I, th I thought it was. So that, that was just a very valuable thing that I learned through my, my fundraising efforts. Yeah. As an executive member of the Amnesty International Club at Western Canada High School, Prudence Itica has declared March as Women's Rights Month. She is leading a group of 60 students to spread awareness about women's rights. Prudence comes from an African country where women are not respected, and beating is the norm. Because of Prudence's personal understanding of the violations of women's rights, it has pushed her to become the voice for those who are victimized. Prudence believes it is her duty to put an end to it, and to let people know about the injustices and the voice women and girls face on a daily basis. I hope to kill apathy. Like, that's my biggest issue. It's just people who don't care. And it's, like, so frustrating to see people who don't care. Because it's like, this will affect you somehow, in some shape or form, maybe not you, but someone you like or someone you care about, or someone you know. A lot of people, their biggest excuse sometimes is just like, oh, I don't know. And it's like, if you're telling people about these things, at least now you're giving them the option. Now you know it's up to you. What are you going to do with this information? You can't, you know, claim ignorance anymore. It's like, it's up to you now. We have a duty to other human beings around the world and it's like all I can do is just you know keep speaking pretty much just keep talking using my voice like and encourage others to do the same. Grade 12 student Yara Hatab has been an executive member for the past two years in Amnesty International Club but has led the club to focus their aim on spreading awareness about human rights violations in our world. When Yara organized an event which brought awareness about the human rights violations in Palestine she was faced with an entire community mistaking the project as being biased and considered not safe for the student population. On the day of the event, Yara and her team were told that the project had been shut down due to complaints because of the nature and issue the event touched on. The Amnesty International Club was silenced. But from this silence, it brought awareness to people all over Calgary of the issues faced by Palestinians. Going into high school, you have to realize that um, our problems are probably so small compared to um, what's going on in the world. So by joining these causes or when someone asks you, hey, can you sign this letter, um, do it because your signature might be um, one day, um, like it may one day change something and just don't um, underestimate what you can do. The politicians have told us that one letter could be, you know, it feels like 200 or 2,000 um, voices are talking to them. So um, don't underestimate what a letter can do, what word of mouth can do, and maybe simply like a post on Facebook or a tweet on Twitter can do. Congratulations to the nominees and the recipient of the Advocacy Award. On behalf of Rogers and the entire community, I would like to thank you for your conviction and relentless determination in the pursuit of worthwhile causes.